But first, exclusive video showing a deadly crash that's raising safety concerns for everyone in Florida. Investigators in the state looking at the first ever driverless car death. And it comes as the state is pushing to become the nation's test bed for driverless cars. But now, questions about this crash are threatening to derail that plan. Right now, questions being asked like, how did a Tesla on autopilot slam into a tractor trailer? Why didn't the built-in safety system stop it? And do these cars threaten others on the road? ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska in Williston, Florida tonight, digging for answers. On May 7th, a quiet Saturday afternoon, Bobby Van Cavalar's piece was shattered by a traffic crash that started yeah. nowhere near his home. I couldn't believe how far he actually came, you know, with a car by his, you know, because he was deceased. It was 300 yards from the store down there to, um, my front yard. But the intelligent autopilot system of the nearly $100,000 Tesla S drove on, despite the fact that the entire windshield had been sheared off driving under a tractor trailer. When he went under, underneath the semi, he came down the road, then he ended up in a median. This is the right headlight of the Tesla that was found underneath this tree. Amazingly, Van Cavalar believes that the autopilot system kept the car right in between these two trees, but it couldn't avoid this power pole that it hit and then came to a rest just a few feet away. Van Cavalar says witnesses stopped to talk to investigators when they saw the wrecked car in his yard. She was passed, and she said she was doing 85. And when this car just passed her, she was just like, wow, you know, I wonder how fast that car is going. That is a question that investigators have yet to answer. Tesla releasing a statement that cars in autopilot have safely driven more than 130 million miles. Van Cavalar says an investigator on scene told him a movie was playing in the dash after the crash, making him wonder how safe autopilot really is. There's no way I would ever trust a vehicle to to drive me or my family. In Williston, Levy County, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.